Tell me about how one full rotation is not 360 degrees, but rather four 90 degree right angle quadrants. Well, see, that's where I need to get this drawing together, rather than trying to tell you. I need to get the drawing in there. That's the reason we have to get that stuff together and film from that, the stuff we can show it. See, rather than, because what I'm, what I can tell you is, uh, it's harder to understand than if I had that drawing in there. So that's what we need to do. We need to get all that stuff together. Yeah, okay, so I'll ask you about that later and we'll see if you can use the um, diagrams to explain it. Yeah, we need the diagrams. Well, they're absolute. Yeah. So I mean, I'll ask you another question. I don't know if this is one that's best explained with the diagrams. But um, tell me about drawing a circle on the two sides of a piece of paper and how that represents the four quadrant equator and two hemispheres. Well, if you put a circle on a, on a piece of paper, then you draw a line from corner to corner. You divide the earth into four quadrants. Yeah. And then the, what you see on this side of the paper cannot exist for the opposite side that you do not see. And the sheet of paper acts like a equator between opposite sides, opposite hemispheres. And each hemisphere has the four corners, like baby, child, parent, and grandparent. It has the four quarters. And on one side you got the female, and the other side you got the masculinity, the masculine and femininity on, on, the, on the opposite sides. But if you, uh, you can't have one, there is no entity. One is, if you wad up the one side, the back side of the paper, it wads up the front side. Yeah. And so it's the, uh, uh, and, and you like the, the half of Earth that you see from space cannot exist without the opposite half that you do not see. Yeah. And, uh, but they only exist as opposites. As an entity, Earth doesn't exist because they cancel out. They like positive and negative. Yeah. Earth does not exist as an entity. Okay. And, and so, like, the, so then the opposites are that they're codependent. You can't have one without the other. Right. Right. The yeah. opposites. They're parallel. A parallel universe. You're parallel. Your legs are parallel. Your arms are parallel. The two halves of your body are parallel. Okay. But say it, 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 it's not singularity. It like it's the. Uh, uh, like math and the uh, analytical math is comparing uh, how the parts relate to the whole. Well, if you got two opposites, there is no whole. They only exist in the opposites. As a singularity, they don't exist. They cancel out. Okay. And then... Um, and say any god, like a human, would have to be composed of opposites. That denies the singularity that he preaches. There's no singularity. Singularity is death. And tell me, tell me about the two opposite directions of rotation. Those two directions being clockwise and anti-clockwise. Well, if you stand in the middle of the road, you have a single perspective. Well, from one side or one pole, things go to the left. On the opposite side, they go to the right. They be uh, they are totally opposite. Plus, if you add them together, they cancel out. Okay. 
rivers go opposite directions, roads go opposite directions. Tell me about the two opposite banks of a river and how a river represents the antipodal opposites. One side it goes to the left, on the opposite side it goes to the right. Only way it exists is opposites. As an entity, it cancels out. It doesn't exist. It only exists as opposites. As an entity, it doesn't exist. Okay. And, and so, like, you, you would have an observer on one or the other. You can have an observer on the bank of the river, and they only see it going one way, but in reality it's, it's going both ways, is it? Right. It's going both ways. Yes. Sir. And you yeah, like they talking about, I'm trying to think, what is it called? But the, uh, they say things that either is uh, true or not true. Well, actually, and they say there's no center. You eliminate the center because there's nothing in between. Actually, it is. There's a zero in between. And so things are, are uh, true and they are false. Yeah. And like life and death. They both exist. Yeah. Okay. But as an as an entity, is the death line on the heart monitor? It's death. Entity is death. Oh, yeah. And that's what they're teaching and preaching. Tell me about the Darwinian evolution theory. Well, it's it's erroneous. It doesn't account for the he was ignorant of the time cube. And so uh we we come through mediums more so than the uh in other words, we, there's an environment, and the environment and the, and the uh, animal are created at the same time. You can't exist without the environment. And so, uh, but he was wrong in this stuff, and we don't come from, uh, actually a human is uh, like the salmon that's from upstream, the male fertilizes female egg laid in the water. Sperm fish do that same thing. We come from fish. Not monkeys. Um, let's think about the proposed cubic villages and tribes. Describe to me the characteristics of the cubic villages and tribes. Well, that's because the, when the family is a creation body, it might only create the one sex of a boy or girl. And so the next higher order is a, is a tribe in the village where you have multi families. But you have an equal number of both sexes of all ages. Yeah. So those are the the true bodies. But our government community is filled with strangers who, who don't give a damn about anything. 